presented in cooperation with the American Pharmacists Association and the National Alliance of State Pharmacy Associations. It is given to a pharmacist who has made outstanding professional contributions and has participated in community or governmental activities that reflect well on the pharmacy profession. This year, the state of Michigan has the honor to present the Bowl of High G Award to Greg Bates. His contribution to his community and the profession are evident by his involvement in Wayne County Pharmacists Association, as well as volunteer efforts at the Cabrini Clinic and his church. Greg has also raised awareness as a consultant and community pharmacist, providing personal patient care and prescription delivery and management service. Association Foundation and the National Alliance of State Pharmacy Associations for sponsoring this award. It's an honor to receive this award for, and I'm doing this on behalf of myself and my fellow, fellow volunteers, pharmacists at free clinics, in particular those of you out there who volunteer at Cabrini, and there are quite a few of you out there. Um, the award is so important, but we remember that it's about the work that we do that is of true importance. The uh, award only serves to inspire. Uh, the director of Cabrini Clinic, Sister Mary Ellen Howard, could not be here tonight, but I know she would like me to say a few words about Cabrini Clinic. Cabrini Clinic is located approximately three miles from here in Detroit's oldest <coughs> ethnic neighborhood, Cork Town. It's, uh, it's the oldest street clinic in the entire country and the mission of the clinic is to serve the, the uninsured and the underinsured. Uh, during my time there, under watching Mary Ellen's leadership, I watched the, the clinic grow into a, a state-of-the-art building. It's just wonderful, and you all have an open invitation to come down there and see what this is about. But uh, even more importantly, as, as well as things are down there, and as hard as we work, there are people that we still have to turn away. So again, you think about the safety net of the safety net. Services that pharmacists can uh, offer, apart from your day-to-day -day job, the skills that you have, whether you're young, in between or retired can serve your community well. You'll, you'll never know how much. Um, I received a tremendous amount of support from uh, Tom Rollins, my colleague down there, who was instrumental in working with SRS to, to bring a computer system down to Cabrini Clinic. For, uh, for the better part of 60 years, Cabrini operated with labels that were filled out by hand, and, and no way to monitor patients for interactions or anything like that. And as a follow-up, the Wayne County Pharmacists Association generously helped underwrite some of the expenses of uh, the computer along with my colleague Bob Armstrong. I, I can never thank these guys enough. Um, someone else I'd like to acknowledge at this point is uh, Dr. Gerald Smith. Professor at Wayne State University, now retired. As part of her curriculum for her P2s, she uh, has these students rotate through, through Cabrini and clinics and locations like Cabrini so that they come to understand that the professional skills that they have and, and that they will carry with them throughout their life have value 
out in the community and they're they're needed us outside of the job. It's about the profession, not simply the job. Um, I'd like to acknowledge uh, my family who are here, who supported me throughout my professional career. And truly, I couldn't be here tonight if it were not for the support of my family and also my, my good friends. Um, coming full circle, I'd like to thank the MPA for this award and also like to give thanks to Pfizer Corporation who, uh, who provide this award to, to pharmacists through every, one pharmacist each year to every state association. And not just for the award, uh, a, bi a vital component of what goes on at Cabrini is the patient assistance program. And Pfizer has been a strong proponent in providing free medications for the uninsured and the underinsured. You think about Libitor, and Norvas and drugs, drugs of that nature. And we, we couldn't do it without them. So I, I'm grateful for the award that they give, but I'm even more grateful for what they do to help meet the needs of the clinic. Thank you, everybody.